following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Oh, look who we have. It's a beautiful day. Look at our man, Jim from Minneapolis. We are taken by storm. Taking it by storm, baby. <laughs> I love that. That's a great saying, man. Hey, what's happening, brother? Good morning, gentlemen. How you guys doing today? Good man. Yourself? Oh, man. It's been the most incredible couple of days since when I called in on Friday. Litecoin busted out of that consolidation on the two-hour chart. Okay. And it just never looked back. It did a 100-point ABC up, and now it's very extended the way I look at it. Yeah. But holy commo... I mean, it went up to $420 last night. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Well, welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's making a great night, folks. Great week. Don't make assumptions. Disconcern the truth. The problem with making assumptions is that we believe they are the truth. We make an assumption, we misunderstand, we take it personally, then what do we do? Then we react by sending emotional poison with our word, and this creates what? A whole big drama for nothing. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 122, NASDAQ up 51, S&P's up 10, all new all-time highs. Gold contract, gold contract up $4.70 trading at 1483 an ounce. You got silver up nine cents, seventeen dollars fourteen cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up twenty nine cents, sixty one dollars twenty two cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. You got the ten year up four ticks, one twenty eight oh nine. The thirty year up seven at one fifty six oh eight. Now both notes and bonds, folks, got back into the strength from last Friday, as well as the downdraft from November seventh. Rejected lower price has tremendously lighter volume. That's saying, once again, notes and bonds want to go to higher price, lower yield. King dollar. King dollar down 29 ticks, trading 97.370. The euro is at 111. The yen is at 109.28. And the pound is at 130 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Okay, so we are in holiday trading, folks, no doubt. You get volume out here, 48 million. Uh, I suspect what we're going to see here is that this, this, <laughs> the machines are going to run this market, folks. That's, that's how this is setting up right now. You get, we have tomorrow. Next week is definitely, you know, holiday trading. That being said, guess what? There's a differential in holiday trading now than there was 15 years ago because over 50% of the trades are executed by machines anyway. If they get this thing going momentum-wise, you can, you can really get some uh, heavy upside action going when the liquidity is dry. SPY, new all-time high. We go over into the NDX 100. We look at the three Qs. Same setup inside the three Qs. That's up a buck. You're trading at 210. 61. Small caps are still struggling. The bottom line that they're up, but they're, they're still way away from the high that was generated out here in July of 2018. The small caps right now are trading 165 when that high is 173. Tesla. Tesla, uh, bottom line, going to new highs, has volume behind the move. Uh, we're up $11. You're at 404. And when Tesla's case, okay, the bottom line, they, they'll get this to. Uh, Elon Musk 420, uh, pretty easy because you still have one out of every five shares that are shot the position, and uh, I suspect they're going to basically uh, run that equity too. Um, next ca next couple of days, you get something going. It's 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 not hard to basically run some of these equities. Gold. Now what's, what's going to get intriguing here is that gold caught a bid. Now the volume is 189,000. That's not bad volume. Not great volume. Not bad. That being said, what you have when we go through these notes and bonds, you're going to see the note and bond market looks like it's going to turn and has turned again, meaning 
We hit the 1.94 in the 10 year. That's saying it's going to start backing down again. We're at 1.9 right now. You have the gold contract up $5. You're at 185 to, uh, you're at 18,000 contracts. Now watch, if I just, I'm going to go, I'm going to cut to the chase and go over to the yen because the yen moves that gold contract. And what you have with the yen, the yen has been moving down all day, meaning getting stronger. The yen has gone from a price point of 109.68. We're at 109.27 right now. We hit 118. What that also says, though, is this. Once you get back inside the 109.32, gets you back inside the lower range. The yen has managed to pick its nose up a few different times. November 7th, it did. Now, you can see that correlation. This is what's so cool here. See the correlation on November 7th? When I go to the bond market, you're going to see that was the downdraft in the bond market. Updraft in the yen. Bottom line, gives it up again. Goes all the way back to 108. Comes up, tests it again on the 12th, on the 2nd at 109. Gives it up again. Now we just did another test up at those highs. Giving it up again. And we are inside this 109.32. The 109.32 for the yen, folks, is crucial. We get up and we take a look at the pound. The pound gave it up in spades. That's why you saw the dollar go up the last few days. Uh, what we have with the British pound, it was trading 131 before Boris Johnson uh, had this decisive victory in the UK. Uh, bottom line, then it snapped right from 135 down to 130. That was the largest move in the year for the pound. That's a monster move. What we're doing right now, we're going against the strength at 129.82. We hit 129.90 out here today. The euro. We take a look at the euro, what's happening with the euro out here. Still a sideways move, trying to pick its head up. Euro's going to need uh, a lot more price movement in order to break out of this uh, 111.76 number. Now, notes and bonds, here you go. We take a look at the note and bond market. If this is not, this is like such classic timing the trade, the art of timing the trade, all of the above. Price, volume, you got it all inside of this. And what I mean specifically is this. November 7th, that was the date when I showed you how the yen was going topside, bonds were going downtown, we had hit 127.30, had volume there. Last week, we came down hard and fast on the 12th, as well as the 13th. The 12th, we came down with 2.5 million contracts, 13th, 2.7 million. Then what do we do? Last four days, you're coming down with dramatically lighter volume. What do we get today? You get the test. You get the rejection, we get to 127.29, right at, nails it right on the, the number, rejects it, that is saying it wants higher price, lower yield. If we get over and we take a look at the 30 year, 30 year right now has done 20, uh, 227,000 contracts. Now, and this is what's so cool, the 30 year folks never made it to the lows of the, 20, of the 7th of November, which is 155. We came down hard last week. You came down with 577,000 contracts. You came down and made a low with 487,000 contracts. That price point was 155.23. We got to 155.14 today. Rejection of lower price, lighter volume. 30 also wants higher price, lower yield. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. The TFNN Tiger Dollar Holiday Sale is back. For two weeks only, we're offering the largest bonuses of the year on all Tiger Dollar purchases. Normally, you can get a 10 to 20% bonus on your purchase, but for the Tiger Dollar Holiday Special, we've doubled the normal bonuses where you can now get up to a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus on your Tiger Dollar purchase. Tiger Dollars can be used for all TFNN newsletters, products, or services, are fully transferable, and never expire. If you're a current TFNN newsletter subscriber, then this this is a great time to buy Tiger Dollars and apply them to all your future transactions for instant added savings. And if you're considering signing up for any TFNN newsletters, webinars, or products in 2020, then get up to a 40% bonus now before this sale ends Sunday, December 22nd. For all the details and to purchase your Tiger Dollars with up to a 40% bonus, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. 
If you're a trader in the market looking for exposure to gold or gold mining equities, then now is a perfect time to sign up for Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. The summer is over, gold is trading back above $1,500, and the 10-year treasury is hovering at around 1.5%. Tom O'Brien has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 18 years. There's no one that knows more about how the gold market trades and how gold mining equities react. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, Tom publishes his weekly gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. As of September 3rd, Gold Report subscribers have five active open positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 38% for each position. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up today by visiting TFNN.com. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow, Dow up 113, Nasdaq up 48, S&P's up 8.5. Let's get over and take a look at that 10-year yield, because this is going to be so cool watching how this shakes out, folks. So, of course, what ends up happening with notes and bonds, if, you go to, if they go to higher price, the yield comes down. Bottom line, you go to lower price, the yields go up, okay? So what we have out here is that you're looking now, if you're watching Tiger TV, you're looking at the yield, and you're looking at the yield as of today. You can see we hit 1.95 on the 10-year. We came into November 7th. And if you remember that the, the benchmark we were talking about, first the yen on November 7th, we're talking about the bond market on November 7th. November 7th, we had hit, we had hit 1.9713. Last week, when it was the first test where we had the strength, which we came into and rejected today, we hit 1.9465. Today, you got 1.903. You got above it. You rejected it. You're going to close at the lows. What that sets up is that now we're going to be back down to 1.6917. So this thing is set up pretty cool uh, in the aspect of where it wants to go. And <laughs> we all know notes, bonds, uh, all of the above. Um, people have been saying for a long period of time that, yeah, the rate should go up, you know, guess what? It doesn't look to me that uh, we are going to have uh, rates go up, period. Um, it looks like we're in a range here, and that range, you know, in this particular case, the range didn't even get us uh, into the 2%. I'll bring this back further. You can see how this range has set up. You know, we, we got to the 1.95, stayed there for a few minutes, I'll bring this back. Let me bring this back. Like, I'll do five years on a weekly. And what you're going to see, yeah, the highest we've ever got is that we got to uh, November of this year. We, yeah, we, we still didn't hit. We didn't hit two, 1.97. That's it. And, you know, you're coming into this vicious downdraft that we had in August of this year. That's when the 10-year the went from 2.01 and three weeks later, it was at 1.47. So then we made a low out there of 1.42. The low it was going into is 1.31. That low was, was established on the 16th. So, you know, 
moving pieces out here. The bottom line is that, you know, I know we're at all-time highs. Notes and bonds are still saying there's plenty of room to actually back down even further. And if you do want to see how this sets up on the TLT, and this is a, this is a further confirmation that the notes, bonds, and TLT want to go higher. TLT, which is a 20-year plus ETF structure, traded to a low today of 135.26. You have 5.4 million shares. You're going into the low of November 7th. November 7th had 19.2 million shares. And right now we are already over the highs of the lows of the 7th. That is also setting up that, guess what? Higher prices, lower yield are coming at us, kicking into 2020 once again. So pretty, pretty amazing. Some of the higher volume equities out here, we have... You have Micron Tech, they came out with numbers last night. That's up $1.69. You have Vince Micro is up 60 cents. You have Conagra Brands, that's, that's actually moving uh, big time. That was up, uh, that's up 15% right now, trading for up five bucks at $34.10. Um, Cisco Systems is up $1.23. Uh, Tesla is one of the big ones out here, no doubt. Uh, Tesla's up 11 bucks, trading $404.25. Uh, we have uh, Roku. Roku is up uh, $2.74 trading, 137 If we go back inside the Dow Industrials, take a look at what's moving the Dow Industrials out here. Point-wise, what you're going to see is that point-wise, in the positive, you get 3M putting 22 positive points, Home Depot 16, Boeing 15, Johnson & Johnson 12. Taken away from it, Caterpillar, minus 16, J.P. Morgan, minus 5, Goldman, minus 5. NDX 100. Let's go take a look at the NDX. Strength versus the weakness inside the NDX. NDX, you get Netflix up 3.5%. Liberty is up 3.1%. Micron 3. Pacecar on the way down. Pacecar is down 3.5%. You get Expedia off 1.2%. You have uh, Exelon off uh, 1. And you get Xilinx down uh, just slightly under 1%. Big numbers. Amazon. Let's go over to Amazon. We'll take a look at Amazon. Amazon's kicking into its last week of the holiday packages. Uh, Amazon still can't move. Amazon has been consolidating at the $1,780 price point, folks, from August. Big number. FedEx. FedEx got gotten smashed the last couple of days. First, they come out with their number. Well, first, what you had is that Amazon fired them. Then the following day, they come out with their numbers. When they come out with their numbers, folks, they had already had a soft November in a huge way. Bottom line, FedEx right now trading flat at 146. You came down yesterday with monster volume. FedEx is on its way down into this 137 area. Boeing, let's go take a look at Boeing because what you have with Boeing, no doubt. Uh, bottom line is that uh, they're going to be uh, basically either slowing their development down or stopping uh, their development. That came down hard on Tuesday with volume. Bottom line, you get the, the bottomless consolidation is trading, I believe it's 227. Let me see this thing. 292, 292. So what I expect we're going to see, uh, we're going to get into this 292. Real question is going to be, if it comes into the 292 with the type of volume that we had today, they'll blow it away. But I expect that's what we're going to make our way down into that number. Let's go to Tom in Plymouth. Hey, Tom, what's going on, brother? Hey, Tom, how you been? You've been great, man. How you been? Oh, I can't complain. That's a beautiful thing. No one's going to listen. <laughs> it's, good yeah, to, it's good to hear from you, man. So, yeah. Well, the weather's nice down there, I bet. It's not so nice up here. I, well, you can see I got a sweatshirt on. Uh, the bottom line is that we woke up this morning. It was uh, 55 degrees, and 55 degrees down here, folks. It must be, must be 20 in my head. It's gorgeous right yeah. now. It's 65, so it's beautiful. I know I pulled the weather in Boston, man. Boston, folks, where Tom is at Plymouth, is colder than Chicago. You know, Boston it's 24 is... 24 and sunny. It, 20? 24 and sunny. Yeah. Oof. Well, at least it's sunny, man. That's good, right? Yeah. 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 Totally. So... Hey, so this morning I bought some you gas. Okay. And I, I heard you and Tommy on the... Uh, we're looking for a little pop, but uh, I'm wondering, it's now popped up here a little bit. I'm wondering if I should dump it or hold on to it. Let's take a look. So you get U-Gas. U-Gas is three times the natural long gas ETN. 
Uh, you're trading at 842. No, oh, look at this. I'm in like 804. Look at this. No, I'd hold it right there. This is interesting, man. Okay, so watch this. So your last low out here is December 9th, 765, 56 million shares. Even though it's up, just try to get into that bar first. And now you're over the bar. So with, this, is a, this, is a, this is a good test, folks. Okay, so watch this. You have 31 million shares traded thus far. You're going into 56 million. You rejected the price. You're over the high of it. Here, stay right there, Tom, okay? Come right back. Will do. Okay, we're going to be talking natural gas as soon as we get back, folks. And there's no doubt that uh, natural gas has been the widow maker for quite some time. No matter how cold it gets, it seems like it still wants to go down. That being said, we just saw a test with lighter volume. It looks like it wants to go a little bit higher. Come right back. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, TAS understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the TAS Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. TFNN has put together the best lineup of live content for traders by traders every market day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected minds in the business. TFNN broadcasts five days a week, live from 9 a.m. until 5 p.m. Eastern Time. We have live programming every market day during market hours. Every morning, Larry Pesavento kicks off the trading day live at 9 a.m. and breaks down the opening bell with Trade What You See. At 10 a.m., Tom and Tommy O'Brien host the TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour, followed at 11 a.m. by the team at TD Ameritrade and Think or Swim with Fast Market. Basil Chapman hosts the Tiger Technicians Hour at noon, Steve Rhodes at 1 p.m. with the Trader's Edge, Dave White at 2 p.m. with the Power Trading Hour, and Tom O'Brien anchors the daily lineup from 3 till 5 as host of the Tom O'Brien Show. Tune in to TFNN's Tiger TV on your computer or mobile device, and you can always find us streaming on YouTube. TFNN.com, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is up 104, Nasdaq's up 49, S&P's up 7.5. We're talking with Tom from Plymouth, and we are talking about natural gas. So I'm going to bring up the natural gas contract, Tom. So Yeah, the UNG is pretty close to its... Uh... It's 52-week low, isn't it? Yeah, let, okay, I'll do that first. Let's bring up UNG. So this is the one-to-one. -one. And if we bring up the UNG, you're going to see it's the same type of setup. That the That's trading $17.59. The uh, low out here, I guess, is, uh, where is it? $16.88, right? And that's what it actually has tested out here today. A, a, same type of setup. So the 1688 goes back to 
December 9th, we had 9.1 million contracts. We got down to 1721. You're at 1760. The high of that low is 1730. What happens when you, when you do a test, you have lighter volume. They sometimes like testing the highs of the lows, and that's a good test also. So, you know, I mean, this has been a downtrend for a long period of time. Uh, if we take the, let's go, now we'll go to the active contract. And so this gas, folks, comes out of Louisiana, the Henry Hub in Louisiana. And bottom line is that, you know, yeah, it can get cold across the country, but guess what? It has to basically get cold in a radius of the Henry Hub in order for this gas to get, get drawn down. Um, yeah, I'd stay right there for a few more days, man. I mean, there's no reason that the contract itself, Tom, can't test 237 and you're at 228, you know? And you, ne you never know, man. You just might get a real pop, man, you know? If I'm, it gets over that 236, isn't it? Isn't it back in that higher range to like 270 or 260 something? It would be the higher range starts at 255. Okay. So all right. what I'm doing there is this. Okay. So watch. If we go across, right? It looks like I mean it had a huge day on the 25th of November. We went from 274 to 256. Then it broke down. You know that's. The break is right there, really, on the 26th. That's the way I'd look at that. And then okay. two days later, it was a monster move down, 250 to 227. That, so a natural gas, folks, $1 is $10,000. So you can picture from 270 to 250, uh, 275 to 250, you know, that's 2,500 bucks, and you're only putting up $2,695. So it's important to understand what the margin requirements are, the, the, re, the main reason, not that you don't have to trade the futures, the main reason, however, though, is that if you look at a chart first and says, hey, that only went down 25 cents. Well, 25 cents is the full margin on the contract, folks. That's a blowout, you know. So on the other side of that, Tom, picture the other side of it. People have been shot natural gas for so long and been right, you know. The bottom line oh, is yeah. that, you know, this is a, uh, there's, there's no... I've been watching since the summer. I mean, really haven't touched it since, uh, I don't know, maybe June or July. Right. Uh, and uh, I, I was waiting till September and uh, it didn't seem like much. And finally, that, I, I ventured in today. I've been watching it. That's sweet. It just keeps going lower and lower and lower. It's like, okay. Yeah. And here, if I put this up in a generic contract, the cool thing about what you're saying, Tom, okay, is that we know technically, Tom knows the technicals too. We know technically, you know, this has just been a mess, right? Now, that being said, technically, it looks like it did the test, wants to go higher. Fundamentally, if natural gas is going to go higher, well, guess what? It's going to be the next 12 weeks, man. <laughs> you know, that's, that's, that's the bottom line, so. Yeah, you never know with this thing, but I'll, I'll hang in there for a little bit, you know? Yeah. See how it goes. Totally. And, you, yep. you know, you should start wrapping your head around um, those golds, man. I'd start wrapping my head around those golds. That, watch that yen. What's happening, folks, is this. The yen has failed to get this 109 area again. Like, I know gold's only up five bucks today, but that is actually a lot coming into a holiday because most of the time they like to smoke gold on the way down. But that yen movement out there today is telling me that, uh, guess what? This thing wants to go higher. And the dollar looks like it's going to get into the lower range again. We know that the, the budget that is just getting passed, folks, is the, one of the largest budgets we ever had. We're spending money. We've never spent this much money in deficits. This is the biggest deficit we've ever had. So when you start putting those together, man, it's like, okay, you know, metals want to go higher. Come yeah, that's going to go, I think, by the beginning of the year. Yeah, yeah. I've got the other one I'd like you to look at if you get a chance. I don't need to stay on the line, but that UVXY um, in the beginning of the year or maybe towards the end of the year, I'm looking to go in on that and uh, hope, well, I'd like to see this market take a little uh, nosedive. So here, this is what's happening on this. So this is the, this is the pro share ultra VIX short-term futures, folks, right? Now, would you have to wrap your head around? This is what you got to figure out, man. Let me see something. Because what's going on, Tom, right, 
is that the VIX goes up dramatically, you know, in March. Right now, the VIX is pricing in that uh, January and February, okay, are going to be basically calm months, but March, the, the VIX has gone up pretty dramatically. So what you're going to figure out is that how are you going to trade this? You know what I'm saying? That maybe just wait until the... We're at 1272... And at 1272, oh man, this has been flatlining for so long. Let me see something. Yeah, it's hard, it's hard to tell on this one, man. I, it really is. You almost have to be in it to catch it. You do. But You do. Yeah, you know, but you want to really stay in it, type your money, but you never know when it's going to go. No, you don't. You got to be in it. Be, yeah, sudden, different ball game. Yeah, all of a sudden it's like, whoa. Yeah. The, the market's down 500 points, and, and you're, here we go. Uh, yeah, dramatically. Cooking, brother. Well, all right, take care. Great hearing from you, man. Okay, take care. <laughs> Let's go to Mike in New Hampshire. Hey, Mike, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How you doing? I know that it's a lot warmer there than it is in New Hampshire. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel for you, man. I, I'm telling you. So what's it? What's it? What's it up? Is it like 10, 17, 15? What is it? Right now? Yeah. Oh, geez. Um, I can tell you in two seconds. Okay, good. <laughs> this it's is 18 right now. 18. Oh, my God. And that's real temperature, folks. Okay, that's heavy. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. real. That's, that's heavy. That's not wind chill. Yeah, no, I'm with you. Okay, uh, so what are we looking, so I'm looking at, at here? Amarin, A M R N. And I'm wondering if it's going to come down to fill the gap in November. Okay, so let's take a look. This, they develop, manufacture, distribute biopharmaceutical. Biopharmacil Therapeutics, the lows 1178, the highs 2612. We're trading at 2132. This uh, this is a biotech. Oh, well, it takes yep. in quite a bit of money too. It takes 416 million, so they're selling something. Okay. Oh, I see what you're looking at. Oh, interesting. Okay. So what he's looking at, folks, is this. He had big strength in November. Uh, equity goes from $16 all the way up to 24 in four days. The gap is opened at $16.70, and his question is, this came down to 20 versus the 16. Here, just stay right there, okay? We'll come right back to this. Okay. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the markets, folks, you get the indices Excluding the Russell 2000 at all-time highs. Bottom line, kicking into a holiday trading week. I can expect that they'll run this a little bit more. Come right back. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN 
and you'll find the path of least resistance under trading newsletters. For all the details and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Tom O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow, Dow's up 102, Nasdaq 50, S&P's up 7.5. We're talking Mike from New Hampshire. We're talking about Armin. So I, I would definitely wait, Mike, okay? And th this is why. So watch this. This is pretty cool. So this equity had a great si sign of strength, folks, okay? You know, in November. And then what you had is that December 16th, the stock goes from $26 to 22 with volume on the way down. And what you had out here today is that it got close to the gap, didn't get the gap. But now watch when we put this on a monthly. When we put this on a monthly, what you're going to see is that it's pretty clear that it looks like it wants to test the $16.34. And what you have is this. So this is, this is an equity, folks, that in September of 2018, now what happened? Did they discover something, Mike? I mean, it went from $2.60 uh, to $16.34, right? So evidently a monster move, right? We don't have them. Did I lose Mike? Okay, so let's go through it anyway. So they must have got something going there, folks, right? So picture that. That's a long time ago, no doubt, September 2018. That being said, what you have is this. You had a high volume high at $23.10, 424 million. You went into that high volume high with 299 million, you gave it up in spades. You went from 24 to 16.35. This month here, you're going to have 182 million. You also gave it up. So you had a test of the high volume high last month. You gave it up. Went to $16. You had a test this month. You went to $26. Now you're trading 21. That's saying that this thing is still going to pull back unless it could get over the price point of this uh, $24.64 before the end of the year. And I, I, I don't think we're going to have that. So the same place with the gap is, let me just make sure of this, $16.34. Because coming back into that area would be dynamite because then what you'd be looking at, you'd be looking at, do I have a contraction of price coming back into it? Yeah, it's $16.70 is the low. So the high of that is $18, the low is $16.70. That's, that's, I would wait for that area before I would start getting into that uh, baby. Because what you also have with this equity is that that's a highly volatile equity, biotech that can move five, six, 10 points in a week in about a heartbeat. We, you, you can just see it inside it. The GDX, we get into the gold market. What you're gonna see with the GDX, it's gonna be interesting coming into the close out here today to see what, what kind of volume they put into it. GDX right now is up two cents. Uh, it rejected lower price today at $27.27. We are at $27.47, and the top of this range is approximately $27.93. Um, so this is going to be kind of interesting. Yeah, we got our man Mike back. Hey, man, what's going on? Hey, Mike. Oh, come on. I got him. Where is he? You got him? Look at that. That must, that must be that. that cold weather up there, man. The... Cold weather is hurting those, those pipes. Okay, 
Well, we, the bottom line is that I, I would wait, Mike, your, your first level would be $18. Your next level would be $16.70. That's the same trading day. That's November 11th. That's what you're going to be looking for out there. And that's kind of how I'd set that up. The next time that they're going to come out with numbers is on the 26th of February. So you get plenty of time there. And, you know, you can see the acceleration on the way up. As, and revenue has been pretty dramatic. $81 million they made in 2015. This year, 416, 416 million, that is. And in 2020, they're going after 684 million. And what we have uh, the, into the bottom line is that they plan on basically getting into a profit. And I got our man back again. Yep. Yes, sir. Okay, Tom, uh, I, I have a question on another one, MetaFast, M-E-D. Uh, they just got news today that there's a major stockholder that wants to buy the company. Okay, so let's take a look. This is a physician-based uh, weight loss program, and I haven't heard of this stock in so long. It's, it's pretty amazing. Yeah. It's been around forever, right? Yeah, the low is 66, the high is 159 bucks. You're trading up 7.5% today. They take in, look at this, they take in 700 and six million dollars and they take 544 to the bottom line okay so i wouldn't bite on this man this is you know this is coming into the the, the downdraft it, it it got itself blown apart let's see what november 5th and 113 you know five days later at 66 this is just coming up and filling that gap let me pull this back further one second yeah so the way that I trade, say, okay, so I, I brought this up on a longer basis, folks. This has gone from $260 uh, down to 66 bucks. So what you have here, Mike, is you still have a high volume low. You're going into ice. This would have to show you a few times that it has a sign of strength. What that would mean is that you have wide price spread, you accelerated volume like you'd have today. But then you would have to take out the swing point. I'd want to see this take out $113.62 first, then pull back with light volume. Because okay. this high volume low that's sticking out is saying it's going to be right back to that high volume low. You know? I see. Yeah. Okay. And 10. So picture, even today, now another benchmark you want to keep your eye on is $101.99. What that is, that's the low of the gap that it's going into right now. You know, mm -hmm. at the end of the week, if it closes, you know, under that, that's saying that, guess what? Then you start peeling back into the other side. These high-volume lows are always dangerous, man. They, are, they, yeah. just, they just like to get hit. Um, I see Engage Capital is said to consider bid for Medifast. The real question, okay, Active Invest Engage Capital way in the bid uh, to take... Uh, Private, okay. That, oh, yeah, I see it. So watch this, though. Watch, watch this. This is where this, this, this company just needs a bounce. The, fund, the hedge fund owns 15% of Medifast right now. So watch yeah. this. They, all they're trying to do is get the stock up. They've probably been doubling down for, for a long period of time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. And, you know, you, you get it up a little, big deal. Yeah, they have 1.1 million shares right now. It, it says here they only own 9%, but, you know... I, yeah, I wouldn't, uh, I think that's basically a company that has bought into it, and you can see this has been a downtrend since uh, September of 2018, you know? Yeah. So. Okay. Okay, man, you stay warm. Okay. Have a great Christmas, yeah. great Have New great Year's. Holiday, so I, no, okay, man. Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah. That's, you know, that's a typical one, folks. That, you know what's intriguing about that one? Normally, it's not so blatant that, you know, you, you have a hedge fund. They own 15% of it. It's been a downtrend for a year and a half, a big downtrend, you know, over $150. They say, okay, they want to bring it private. Well, big deal, you want to bring it private. You know, bottom line, you're trying to get a bounce going in the equity that you can either sell calls, you can basically start positioning a little bit differently, you just might want to sell some equity because you may know something else that's in there as to why that is, has that high volume low, which wants to be tested. Dow, Dow up 97, NASDAQ up 47, S&P's up 6.5. And, and uh, don't forget, folks, as you come over to our website at TFNN, 
We have the Tiger Dollar Sale going on. You can make 20, 30, or 40% on your money. Check it out on the front page of Tiger, uh, of TFNN. That sale is over Sunday. We only do it a couple times a year. Coming right back. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 six and three months timer digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well the fact is markets can be timed and i'll teach you the exact set of tools that i use that has transformed me into one of the best at what i do sign up for mastering probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfn.com and get immediate access to workshops where i take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. sign up today since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powerful powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up 108, Nasdaq's up 50, S&P's up 7.5. We uh, have a tiger that wants to look at Micron. So Micron came out with numbers, folks. Uh, last night, Micron is trading at a price point of uh, $54.46. It's up a buck, 42. It's at an all-time high for this year, not an all-time high. Uh, and you get a small ABC up. That's what you have. Your B point on this is $54.30. That was established out here uh, on Monday. Your A is $44.55. Yeah, it's almost the... Uh, $10 A to B. That's $62. It's saying it's going to go to year 54. Let's see what's at 62 up here. Yeah. Your, you know, your high up here is running out at uh, 65, 64. 62 is game. And then because what you're also going to have, uh, this is pretty cool. Right? You're also going to have, put this on a weekly. You just took out the weekly swing with volume also. The weekly swing, $51.39 at 108 million shares. You came into it last week at 124. You took it out this week at 159. So another way that you can do a price projection on that is you take the top of that, which is 51, you take the bottom, which is 40, 11 bucks, you add 11 to 51, and there you go, it's 62 again. So when you, what's cool about this, folks, when you have a consolidation like this, 
and you have an ABC structure up. So yeah, the ABC structure up, you know, probability is pretty good. You're going to make meet the price projection. Then on top of that, you have a consolidation. Well, you have the ABC structure inside the consolidation. That brings your probability higher that guess what? 62 is on the agenda. And we have the high at 64, 66. So bottom line, yeah, I expect it's going to be going higher. And if that's the case, then what you also are going to have, folks, is that the NDX 100 is not done either because what ends up happening is that the chip stocks bring the NDX 100 as well as the NASDAQ composite higher and all lower. It's, it's one of the driving forces inside the NDX 100. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about, whatever you focus on grows, and whatever you want in life, folks, visualize it like a nice big motion picture. Step into it, take ownership of it, and fly with it. Everything you need is right inside you. You might as well have a blast with it, man. Yesterday's gone, tomorrow's not here. What are you doing right now? Come back and visit us tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock. Larry Pesavento, great show. Have a great one, folks. Larry.